All right, 97. Wow. Three more lessons and we're on problem set 100. Crazy, man. All right, hope you guys are doing well today. We're doing two-step problems today. Er, no, there's the bad word again. Let's change that. Two-step problems, no. Two-step uh, happy trips to the county fair is today. All right, here's how they work. If 2x plus 4 is equal to 6, what's the value of 3x minus 7? Okay. Well, the two steps you're going to do is you're going to find out first what x is. Then when you find out what x is, you're going to plop it right in there and then find out what this expression's value is. There you go. That's all there is to it. So let's solve this equation here. Notice this is an equation. This is an expression. Okay. So 2x plus 4 is 8. So we'll go 2x is equal to 6 minus 4. So x is equal to 1. Okay. Then what's the value of 3x minus 7? Well, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 7 equals negative 4. Okay. How about this one? If 4x minus 2 is 3, what's the value of... No, come on. Okay. Well, again, we just gonna, we're just going to solve this equation. We'll move the negative 2 over there. It turns into positive 2 plus 3 is 5. So x is equal to 5 over 4. They don't all have to be integers. You're going to have to do a little fraction messing around with fractions today. Okay, so what's the value of 2 fifths x minus a fourth? Well, no big whoop. 2 fifths times x is 2 fifths times 5 over 4. That crosses out. There's a 1 up there with a 2, and then there's a 2 down there. So I got a half minus a fourth is what they're asking for. Well, a half minus a fourth is 2 fourths minus 1 fourth, which is just 1 fourth. There you go. That's two-step happy trips to the county fair. Okay, we'll try one more. All right. If 4 thirds x minus 2 equals 4, what's the value? Oh, okay, whatever. Okay. Well, let's just figure out what x is over here first, right? We're just going to add 2 to each side. So 4 thirds of x is equal to 4 plus 2, which is 6. To find out what, we, uh, what x is, we multiply both sides by 3 fourths. We can just do this like this. Times 3 fourths. No, that's gone. So let's just knock this down a little bit here. That's going to be 2 goes into 6 three times. 2 goes into 4 twice. So 3 times 3 is 9 over 2. That is the value of x. So what's the value of 6x minus 5 eighths? I don't have any idea. i got to pop it in there. So 6 times x. Let's just do 6 times x. That's 9 over 2. And let's put it over 1. I can do this if you want. That goes 3. And then that goes over 1. And then the answer is 27. 27 minus 5 eighths. You should be able to tell at this point in your you know, mathematical career that that's going to be 26. And then the only difference between you know, the 1 and the 5 eighths is the 3 eighths. So there's your answer. There you go. Okay. All right. Try the practice problems on page 302. Good luck. There's do A first. Okay. Well, let's go 2x here. And we're going to add 4. So x gives us, uh, excuse me, uh, that gives us x as being 5. Okay, so what's the value of 3 times 5 plus 2? 17. Boom. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, well, 5x minus 2 is 5. Let's move this over. Move the 2 over. It turns into a positive 2, which that's your answer. And, of course, x is equal to 7 fifths. Now, they're asking, what is 10x minus 3? Well, let's just do it. 10 times 7 fifths minus 3. So we can go like this. That goes away. That's a 2 there. And let's see here. 10 fifths. Blah, 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 blah. That's going to be 14, right? 2 times 14 is 4, times 7 is 14. Minus 3, 11. Got it. Okay, last one. Pause it and give this a whirl. Okay, 1 fifth x equals 3 over 10. To clean that up, of course, we know we need to multiply by both sides by 5 over 1. That, of course, is just gone. 5, and it's going to be a 1 there, and this is going to be a 2 there. So it looks like 3 times 1 and 2 times 1. So the answer is 3 over 2. Okay, that is x. Okay, right there. Okay, so the value of 15x plus 2, that's just going to be 15 times x, 3 over 2, plus 2. Okay, well, 15 times 3 is 45 over 2 plus 2. Let's just make it into a common denominator, right? 2 is the same thing as 4 over 2. So 45 plus 4 over 2 would be 49 over 2. And if they, in the back of your book, they might even have, like, this is an answer, like 24 and 1 half. That's fine. Either one of those is fine. So, okay. All right. That's it for today. See you all next time. Take care.